hi guys welcome to my channel this is the electrical channel this is house wiring TV channel and this channel you will learn a lot of things today I want to show you something simple about water eaters right we want to just jump into this water eater and deal with a couple issues we have in here right this is gonna be quick and fast guys okay so what's happening here they keep this water eater the beat the breaker keep tripping right so the person who install this water eater and run the circuit for this water eater they did not did they did not do a good job right so the water eater keeps tripping the breaker and we're gonna find out we're gonna use the theory to find out why it keeps tripping the breaker sometimes if you guys are not familiar with this book or with the formulas of electrical trust me you're gonna need to start with some reading up okay because this the formula wheel could solve a lot of problems all right so what we have happening here and this particular water heater that we have here right so this water it eater it does not tell you the amperage it is pulling right if we look on this label let me give you guys a good view right if we look on this label it does not mention about the amperage of this water eater right but how can we find the amperage i'm going to show you a simple way to find the amperage and the amperage will tell you what size breaker what size wire you should use right if you look here you're gonna see 3000 watts right and if you look here again you're gonna see the voltage of this water eater right so this water eater is using 120 voltage and it's also giving us three 3000 watts right and we want to find the amperage in order to find the amperage i'm going to show you what to do but what happens when you find your, the amperage right when you find the amperage that this water heater is going to pull it will allow you to select the right size wires and breaker for this water eater so here we have this book right here and this is the formula the formula wheel right and if you look here I don't want to go through everything on this page right now what I want to deal with right now is the amperage and if you see this right here amps right and remember current is measured in amperage so this is what we're trying to find and these are we're gonna see what we have right and uh, when we find what we have for example right now we have the voltage right and we have the watts what is is p represent what if you look here you see you're gonna see what's up here and it's represented by the p so the same case here you see watts and it's also represented by the p so if you look over here now right and you could we have the voltage which is e right volts which is e so we have our voltage and we have the watt which is p right so this right here is telling us now to divide voltage by the amp voltage by the watts right and we have i have something prepared here just want to show you something quick right so we have the voltage here and then we have watts so we're going to divide 120 into 3000 watts and we're going to see what we come up with right and if you guys at home should do the 
do this, we're gonna come up with 25, right? If you should divide this into this, you're gonna get 25, and this would be amps, right? This would be 25 amps, right? Because this is what the book say, right? If we divide, 120 the, the voltage into the watts right we're gonna come up with the amperage so now we find our amperage right and this is given telling us that this water heater is gonna pull up to 25 amps and the problem they used to have with this water heater it keep tripping the breaker right and the reason it was tripping the breaker is this right here if you could let me focus this camera right I want you guys to see this the number on this breaker right this right here is saying 20 amps and this water eater the calculation just tell us that it, it, it requires 25 amps so basically if you put this breaker on this water eater over a period of time it's gonna trip because this breaker cannot handle this amount of load right and it's gonna keep on tripping and then you're gonna come you're gonna reset the breaker and it's gonna run again until it's get hot and when it get hot it's gonna trip again so in order to solve this problem you're gonna have to pull a new circuit because even watch this they have a 20 amp breaker and for those of you who are into electrical you will understand this if you look at this wire here right this wire this is a number 12 wire right and we this goes up to 20 amp right so now you want a thicker wire for this water eater Presently, I don't have a, okay, I could find something right here. If you could look at the thickness of this wire, this wire is a number 10 wire, right? And if you compare them to this one, you're gonna see a big difference. This one is a little thicker. So this is the size wire you, you'd want to use for something like this okay so it is always important if you don't know all the theory or the calculation but you should have a basic understanding of what's really happening with these equipments right so I just want you guys to be informed and understand what's going on so I just take the time to do a quick video so you guys could understand why your equipment is tripping and then you're gonna say oh the electrician just came and he was there all day and now tonight you're having the same problem again that's what happened when you get the wrong person for the job right so you need people who understand what's really going on with these equipment okay so guys if you like this content go ahead and like and share okay and thanks for watching and i'll keep uploading more stuff so comment down below and tell me if you like the content and let me know what you guys like and i could always provide you with information like that and that is it for today all right guys